of announcements and then uh, turn it over to Gennaro, who's rookie team. Uh, can't talk about anything that happened last night or anything like that until the 6th. Uh, but I do want to announce a couple of uh, changes to the staff. Um, Ron, Ron Norrid has accepted a position with the Atlanta Hawks, so he'll be joining them. Um, that will move Jenny Busick to the front of the bench. Uh, Jim Boylan, who's been a consultant, will move to assistant coach, and he'll be behind the bench. Um, you guys are aware that Calvert Cheney took a position with Indiana University, which, was, which is great. We're very happy for him. But that opened up a player development spot. So Isaac Yaker, who was our head video coordinator, moved to a player development position. And Martin Tombe, who was one of our basketball interns um, last year, uh, you know, did a great job with his video responsibilities as an intern and he's earned the position of head of video coordinator. So it's really great that an organization can uh, promote from within the way we're, we're able to do here with these two or three or four different things. And uh, day one was great. Our three veteran returning guys um, did a terrific job today. Uh, Andrew Nemar, Ben Matherin, and Isaiah Jackson. Uh, our rookies, uh, Jarris, Walker, uh, Ben Shepard, who else we got here? Isaiah Wong and uh, Javi King all look good. Uh, it's day one, it's three intense days, and there'll be an off day on the fourth, uh, another on day on the fifth, and then it'll be a travel day. JP can get into that kind of stuff with you guys, but uh, all in all, a lot of, a lot of positive, exciting things going on. Where will you miss Ron the most? And who will take over defensive responsibility? Well, I think there's, I'm talking to the staff about it right now. Um, I think there's a chance we may go to a different staff structure where there may not be coordinators as such. Uh, so I'm working through that. We've, we've had some really good discussions about it. So, uh, so we'll see. And, I've always had coordinators, um, but I think I think it might be time for for a change, and I think I think there might be some real positives with doing that. So um, I'm evaluating all the possibilities, taking a real close look at everything that's uh, that's going on here. Uh, fortunately, I have a really good feel for all the staff people because you know, know them well, and you know, Jim was around an awful lot last year so so we'll be in good shape what well ladder like about what jim gave you last year and how do you want to use his expertise at this group look jim, jim's, a, jim's a guy that was a head coach in the nba two years ago and is really excited about being with the Pacers organization and uh is, you know is equally excited about joining us in the behind the bench wall which is tells you something about it. Uh, him as a person, his love of the franchise, and, you know, sacrifices he's willing to make to join us. So, um, you know, that's great. You know, Lloyd, Lloyd will be, Lloyd's not here today or tomorrow. He's, uh, he's he'll be here. He'll be here for practice Monday. Um, you know, Lloyd will continue with lead assist. And, uh, we'll go there. Do you consider the set complete um, now? I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. so. JP, ready? Yep. You're a partner, head coach. So <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How did today feel for you, being a charge in that role for the first time with this franchise? It's all different. It's all different, uh, but it's all good. Uh, I believe I have a lot of respect from uh, the players, and uh, I know they're happy that I'm uh, in this position. So. Uh, it was different, but it felt good. Is there a time as a player you knew you might want to transition into coaching when you were done playing? Yeah, very late in my career. Uh, I'd say my last two years, I was pretty much a player coaching uh, in Charlotte. So uh, I knew I had aspirations of, of becoming a coach and at some point in here. What have you seen from Garris and Ben so far? Uh, I start with Ben. Uh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> 
He's, he's strong, quick, fast, um, much more mature, uh, shooting the ball a lot better. Um, I mean, he's he's going to be great for us. And uh, uh, Jarrett, same thing. Uh, he's smart. Uh, defensively, he can really move his feet uh, pretty good. He's going to be able to guard one through, probably one through five. Uh, so he's going to be a, a real weapon for us defensively. When you look at Matherin, Nimhard, and Isaiah Jackson coming in, playing in summer league despite being second and third year players, what do you think they will bring to your team over the next couple of weeks and things? Uh, well, these, like you said, these second and third year guys, they they play in the regular season, they play in the summer league. Uh, they're going to be veterans at this thing. They're, uh, they're going to be comfortable. Um, expecting for those guys to lead, uh, both on and off the floor. And um, I expect to have a pretty good team for, for the games that they play. JP, so they do plan on playing games, and if so, it'll just be a couple? Um, I'm not sure how many games they're going to play, but they, they are playing. I'm very happy to have them. Uh, uh, three guys that really helped us during the regular season, so to have them playing summer league, uh, it speaks a lot to their character and, and how much they love to play the game of basketball. Defense is uh, mentioned as a focus going into the offseason. Is that what you kind of pick up here is focus on defense, or is it just Absolutely. Absolutely. I think we probably spent the first 45 minutes on defense. Uh, so it's definitely a top priority for us. Um, going into the summer league and we're going to carry that over to the regular season. There's a guard who played in the league not that long ago. What do you think of Tyrese Halford as a player? Um, I think he's great. Um, he's, he's, he's unselfish. He's a leader. Uh, he can flat out shoot the basketball. But what I love most about him is that he's just super smart. Right? He um, he not only thinks this position, but he thinks for the other four guys that are on the floor. And, uh, and that just makes us a better team. Kendall Brown back healthy. Where do you see him kind of fitting in with this group and how does he look compared to last year? Uh, incredible athlete. Um, we're looking forward to see what he can do out there on the floor. Um, he can guard four positions. Uh, he's quick, fast. Uh, so we, we're looking to get him in situations where he can use that, that better for him. And uh, I'm really excited about that. Is Kendall 100% healthy? Any restrictions? Uh, that's something you have to ask uh, the, the medical staff. I'm not sure. Uh, he practiced uh, full goal today. He looked great. And uh, like I said, he's quick, fast, and athletic. And you know, we're really excited to have him. Hey, Garrett, so how's it going so far? Good, good. I had a good first practice. I'm just, uh, just filling the team out. Glad to compete with the guys, get up and down, they get some shots up, but it was definitely the first day. What's the biggest thing you've learned is so hard is adapting to what this is going to be like at this level? Um, I would say just offensive sets, defensive sets, uh, different spots for the floor to be at defensively. It's a, it's different rotations, different things we got to learn, but I'm, I'm catching up. Best piece of advice you've got from guys like Ben or anyone else out here? I would say listen, just listen and observe, and then that's the, that's the quickest way to learn. Will there be any sort of nerves going in, knowing you know next week when you go to summer league that'll be your first real professional play? I mean, like yeah. I mean, I feel like that's gonna be for everybody though. Like we're human. We're gonna get them butterflies for the for the game. But what's the what's the ball get tipped up? It's I believe my whole life probably ready to go. Anything stood out to you so far in terms of the defensive focus, offensive focus that you've been kind of told to work on so far? Can you repeat that for me? Anything stood out to you so far about what they've kind of had you working on so far between defense and offense focuses? Um, I would just say just being able to switch out on different guards, just being able to stay in front of them, um, different ball screen coverages I'm being put in. So I would say just just showcase my versatility on defense. Here's to today, kind of first day really felt real after kind of a week of settling in and seeing your jersey and celebrating with family. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean it's definitely right now. Like, we're here practicing, getting shots up after. So, I mean, like, it's... It's just a new team, new opportunity, uh, new people to meet, new brothers, so I'm definitely excited. Your number was taken, so why number one? It just kind of stood out to me that night. Um, yeah, no no meaning to it, I just kind of like the number. What's JP like as a head coach here? I mean, he's awesome. So far. He's awesome. Uh, definitely instills confidence in his players. Just listen, hoop, have fun, get up and down. But I mean, he definitely wants us to play hard and defend too, for sure. Did you and Ben do anything the last couple of days to kind of get to know each other, go to dinner with one another or anything like that? So we have two Bens now. Shepard. Shepard. Um, <laughs> Rookie guy. Um, nah, I mean, we took a little walk back to the hotel, was chatting up a little bit, went to dinner yesterday. Actually, me, me the rookies and, um, and coach and a couple of the guys, we had a good time there. What stood out to you about that? Was it kind of getting to know you off the court or 
or kind of setting the standard for what they expect from you? Um, it was no basketball talk. Okay. I mean, it was just conversating, enjoying ourselves, just trying to get to know each other a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, Tori here, um, having Matherin and uh, Andrew Lindberg involved, how does that help facilitate everybody else to figure out what's going on? Yeah, for sure. They, they make the game easy. Because, I mean, their ability to get downhill, just draw defenders, um, just definitely open up the floor for the space and just open shots. So, uh, they're definitely easy to play with. Jarris, I know that you were excited to play with Tyrese and that news last night. How cool is it for you knowing that you were poorly going to be here for a while? I mean, it's awesome. I mean, it's really good for him because what he's been able to do while he's here, the extension that he got. So, I mean, I'm definitely happy for him. And we have it for myself, too, to just, you know, play with some guy a little fun guy.